Hi everyone, we're going to do a tutorial for the live screen feature in Speak Within Live, which is this part here. And it's an optional feature. You can host perfectly well Speak Within Live over Zoom or whatever it is you're using to host it on without using the live screen, but it is a nice feature if you can use it. You share this section of the screen, that's how it works. So I'll show you, there's two different ways you can have the live screen in Speak Within Live. There's this way, which is the recommended way, where it's just one of the three panes in the main screen. But in situations, for instance, if you're trying to use use a second screen like dual monitors you might want it on the other screen you can bring it out I'll show you how to do that you open the settings pane these are new in version 3 these panes you've got general settings scoreboard settings group settings so this is the general pane I can hide that live screen and I can open um, one in its own window so in some situations you might want to use that one instead but I'm going to close that one and show the main uh, the one in the main window okay I close that now, before we start, we go to share it, what I'm going to do is I'm going to explain to you that the bigger you have this bit, the live screen, the better it's going to look on the Zoom, on the player's screens on Zoom. So it's all about a compromise. If you can have that a bit smaller and still read it clear enough, uh, then you can have this quite a bit bigger and it will look better if you have it a bit bigger. So let's do that. So then let's assume you are using Zoom. That's what I would be using to host Speak Quizzing Live. Uh, I'm going to open my personal Zoom. Click screen share, share screen, sorry. And you can see there's a basic tab. We're going to change it to advanced. Click portion of screen and click share, which brings up this green box. This is a part of Zoom, the green box. It's nothing to do with speakers. It's Zoom's green box. And then you put the green box around the center section. would like to do a screen share of within Zoom. So we're going to put it around there. Does that make sense? Like I say, so if you're stuck for space, you can have that a bit smaller, but just be aware that the smaller they have it, the less good quality resolution they're going to have at their end. Now, a good new feature in version 3, if you click the Saints page, show instructions. Now, what that'll do is that will show your players how to download the app and how to connect it. It'll occasionally show the normal logo like that, and then it'll go back to the instructions again. You can turn that off if you just want it to be on the show logo, but we'll leave it on there for now. Okay, so that's what the players can see on the share screen. Let's see how it works in practice. So, read out the question. In science, which of these is blah, 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 blah? Start the 10 seconds, and you get they get to see it on there as well as hearing it from your voice. Six correct answers. The correct answer is B, Nucleus. And you'll see that it also shows it on the live screen what you're reading out so they can see it and hear it. For the fastest correct answer, the bonus points go to Books Quiz. So what you'll see that happened there on the previous question was that the question appeared on the live screen at the same time as I started the 10 second countdown. Sometimes you might want to have it on the screen before the 10 second countdown, in which case you can press that button there, which also doubles up as number six on your computer keypad. So that has now shown the question before I start the 10 second countdown. So in which Shakespeare play does a prince of Denmark see his father's ghost? And I start the 10 seconds. Now this question here is a good example of where you would use what you can see there where it says live screen text blur. Because that's a spelling question, in a rare occasion where it's some kind of a spelling question, you wouldn't want the word detonations appearing on the live screen. So you can tick that and start the 10 seconds. How many letters are in the word detonations? So they hear you read it out, but they don't get to see it on the screen. I didn't get many in there. Did I? One correct answer. The correct answer is 11. Fastest correct answer. Universally challenged. Well done. On a sequence question, what you can see here, they'll just appear at the same time as what they appear on the devices. Okay, I won't dwell on that. Let's skip to the next question. Right, it's a picture question. These are the important ones. The picture questions. The great thing now with version 5 is that the pictures appear on the device screen, but also you can decide whether you want the text to appear before the picture or after the picture, so on, on the live screen. So let's do, let's hit spacebar so it sends the picture to the devices. You should see it appear on the live screen at the same time as the devices, but they can't see the text yet. If you want them to see the text, either press number six, which is the shortcut for the purple button, or you press the purple button. If you want it to appear before the 10 seconds, or you can hit the blue button and it'll appear. So let's go number six, puts it on the screen. Okay, so let's look at the scoreboard, showing the scoreboard. If I click on that one there, 
scoreboard settings. If I click that one, it shows it on the device screen, shows the scores. However, if I click that one, it shows it on the live screen and it scrolls. University Challenge, third place. Books Quiz, second place. And in first place, it's Beer Necessities. Close it off there. Close that on there. There are shortcuts there. If you hover over there, you can see that it's Shift and S and Shift and D. So if I go Shift and S, it shows it on the live screen. If I go Shift and D, it shows it on the player's screens. Off, off. So I've skipped to another picture question, and this time I will show the text before the picture. So all you need to do is hit the purple button on number six. The text will appear on the live screen before the picture comes now. Now I click show picture, blue button. So it makes, so it, makes it visible. Some, type, some picture questions you'd want people to know the question before the picture appears, some you'd want to do after. So that's a nice little feature, I like to think. So that's your live screen. I think that's all you need to know. Thanks for watching.